Hello and welcome back to West Ham Reunited. Uh, I'm Andy and yeah, happy Saturday. Really looking forward to the uh, uh, day's worth of football ahead. Obviously, we've got the, the big game of um, Man City Chelsea. Also, uh, uh, Luton and Bournemouth kicking off at the same time. Then we've got the, the battle for relegation with Watford and Newcastle. And then I'm really looking forward to Aston Villa Man United um, this afternoon as well. But first we get into it, I'd like to thank our channel sponsor Glazewise, Windows, Doors, Conservatories. John is your man. And if you mention West Ham Reunited, you also get a discount. And the usual shout out to Iron Supporting Food Banks. If you could make any donation uh, at any home game, or you can even make a donation now by going to uh, the link below. That would be amazing. So, uh, everyone, the reason why I'm back again is um, for another edition of Strikers Under Golden Sullivan. Obviously, I've done the previous two shows. Uh, where we had the likes of Mido, Benny McCarthy, uh, Andy Carroll, uh, William Paulista. So yeah, there, there, there's a few on there, uh, which we have. But like I said, I'm going in order. Um, so uh, w I suppose we, we better just get on with it. So uh, the first striker um, which we signed was um, Maiga. We signed him for four and a half million pound in June 2013. Oh, sorry, I, I should have said that. So uh, basically, what I do is I go uh, through the stats for each player, and then out of ten, we give them a rating of what they've done for the club. Sorry, I should have said that. If anyone is new around here, so as you can see there, um, my eager signed for us in June 2013 for four and a half million pound. He made 30, 45 appearances for the club, which a lot of them were from the bench, to be perfectly honest, with seven goals and six assists. So, my eager, yeah, he's a. I didn't know what to make of him, to be honest. He was he was a good player, uh, obviously, for us. Um, he scored some crucial goals, which I'm sure uh, when Kent watches this or if he's watching it now, he'll, he'll bring up um, some memories for him. But, yeah, so uh, 45 appearances, like I said. Seven goals and six assists. I remember his a great finish of a goal he scored at home to Southampton when we won 4-1. Uh, he, he picked the ball up and started running with the ball and um, uh, done a play shot right in the right in the top um, top corner. I remember that one. I remember him scoring at home to Chelsea. Um, uh, Matty Taylor played the ball in. No, sorry, Matt, Matty Taylor went through one on one with Chelsea to make when we, when we won three one. Uh, Petr Cech done the save, but Maiga got the tap in. And of course, the main reason for this uh, this pitcher is the goal he scored in the quarterfinals at at, at Tottenham. Uh, when we when we come back to win, obviously Matt Jarvis scored to make it one all, and then Maiga got the um. Uh, got the second to make us win uh, 2-1. So yeah, another another striker. Uh, if I'm going to be honest, I'd probably give him a rating of six or seven. I'm I'm a bit toyed with what one to pick. Um, I'm going to give him a six because he 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 did contribute. He he did try, but I I think the Premier League really wasn't for him to be uh, perfectly honest. So yeah, I am going to give uh, Madibo Maiga a six. So moving on to my next slide, which is Petric uh, signed for us on a free transfer, a Croatian international, uh, for on September 2013. Um, obviously a free transfer, and then he left in January 14. Didn't really work out well for us. As you can see there, just four appearances, uh, no goals. To be honest, I don't really remember him that much, to be honest, and that just proves what kind of impact he actually did for us. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a tough one, to be honest, of on who to... Uh, on what to say, but uh, I'll probably give him a 1 out of 10 for putting the shirt on, but... Uh, with regards to the impact of what he done on the team, obviously no assist either. So yeah, I am going to give him a one, one out of ten for that one. Okay, moving on to my next one, Colton Cole. Right, what can we say about this man? Uh, oh, let's have a look. Thanks, Ken. He won a pen on his debut. 
Well, thank you very much. That's all I can really remember about him, to be honest. Uh, Carlton Cole joined the club in October 2013 for, for a free transfer. Obviously, we let him go because we said we were going to go out and buy these strikers, the likes of, I think, Bonnie was linked, um, etc. He left the, uh, and then left the club in October 20. But he come back in his second spell and he got eight goals for us. I remember um, the goal he scored at Everton in the FA Cup, uh, the crucial goal. I remember he did score some uh, uh, some good ones. But the, 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 I didn't realise just how many games he actually played for us over the time. Obviously, this was his second spell. So 293 appearances, um, 67 goals and 33 assists. Like Overall, considering when we got him from Chelsea, um, he, he, he's just an... I wouldn't say a cult. He, he's up there in the folklore for, for what he done for the club. Obviously he could have left for us when we went down in the champ. I know this is the second spell, but obviously he could have left us uh, when we got relegated for the championship. Um, he just put his heart on the sleeve. He, he, he just talks the club for, this is what I love about him, especially when he goes on talk sport. He's always back in the club up. He, he's there doing a lot of the hospitality for, for uh, there. And he just can't speak very highly. And what he's doing with the Academy uh, fair play to him. He, he, he's very knowledgeable. And even when he's a pundit, him and Joe Cole on BT Sport, when, when we're playing in Europa League, uh, they really do, do give the club credit. But no, uh, for me, I'm going to give Colton Cole an eight for me. For what, what he does for the club, he, he is an absolute... Uh, he, 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 he would admit it himself, he's not probably the most gifted football player ever, but what he does for the... what, what he's done... Uh, obviously, he got that crucial goal in the playoff final as well. I know this is the second spell, but I thought I, I need to dedicate a, a lot of time for Colton. Um, yeah, um, obviously, after that, he, he had some few spells at Celtic. I remember him scoring uh, for Celtic as well, but no, uh, 67. So, yeah, just just really great. So, obviously, in total, 100 goal contributions for him. Let's have a look here. It, uh, I... Kent, really looking forward to this uh, this day of football. I hope you, I bet you are as well. But let's see what Kent's just saying in the comments. Oh, sorry, Grant. I hope you're well, mate. Let's have a look here. Uh, Carlton gets an eight through service. His heart was a. Uh, he, he tried best. He scored was oh his best goal was uh, what scored was versus Spurs, but then put a goal on his plate for Defoe with an awful back pass. Yeah, I remember, mate. Um, uh, the, the the one goal what I remember as well was uh, the spin and turn what he done uh, as well. Um, I think that was Man United. Um, but yeah, he was just a handful, and uh, I've got a huge respect for him. But yeah, I agree with what Kent's saying there. Definitely an eight out of ten. Dylan, hope you're doing well, mate. Yeah, come on, come on, City. Uh, who have you got today, mate? Sorry, I've not really looked at the football. Let us know, and we will go uh, from there. Moving on to our next striker, which is. Marso Borriello joined the club in January 2014 for 700,000 was the loan fee and left the club in July 2014. Made two appearances, no goals and no assists. Uh, to be honest, I can't really remember that much of, of him, to be perfectly honest. And as you can see there, he's off the pitch, which as you can see there, by his two appearances, um, he didn't really impact us um, that much. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Was he the one who come in with? Is it was it Noscherino? I think the two lone Italian players who we got. Uh, I think, um, but yeah, no, I'm really looking forward. Uh, I don't. Sorry, I, I really don't remember him. And in my opinion, I don't think he, we could probably we could probably sit here all day and and talk about him. But for me, I'm the same as Petrich. I'm going to give him a one for just putting the shirt on. As you can see, another David Sullivan special. Uh, Dylan, let's see. Oh, Blackburn, they're trying to charge us £10 for the game. Uh, Wigan away, he also scored a goal. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, well, I remember that, Kent, yeah. Brilliant finish. That was all the one touch under Zola, wasn't it? Uh, take care, Dylan, mate. Good luck. Hope, uh, hopefully you get the result today. But, yeah, I've, I forgot about that. Wigan away. Yeah, I remember that one. So I'll give people a couple of minutes. So as you can see, yeah, we paid £700,000 for a loan fee for him. Um, two appearances, yeah, as I said earlier. 
a David Sullivan special. I'll just give people a couple of seconds um, to give their rating, but yeah, definitely a one, one for me. Well, I'm giving uh, Kent probably some time to give his uh, point on that. Obviously, uh, nine o'clock tonight. I know it's a bit late. I've got a few bits. Obviously, watching the football, I'm just going to give a little ten-minute show on the preview for the game um, uh, for tomorrow, which I'm really. Actually, I might change it. I might do it in the morning. Actually, you know, give someone a bit of time. Uh, obviously, all the events what happened yesterday. Yeah, actually, I'm going to reschedule it. I think for probably like nine nine in the morning, maybe. Uh, so we look, yeah, one one from Kent as well. Me and Kent agree on that one. So moving on, this one, this one's a bit of a touchy one for me because uh, obviously we we signed him uh, on a free transfer. He left twenty nine, um, which is Mauro Zavarte. Uh, twenty nine appearances, seven goals, and three assists. As you can see there, uh, the celebration there was the fantastic goal we scored when we um, won two one against Chelsea. Um, uh, he, he scored some good goals for us. I remember Crystal Palace away, the looping volley uh, which he slotted in the bottom corner. I remember, I think it was, was it West Brom at home when he scored that weldy of a free kick as well, right in the top corner. He was one under, obviously under Slav um, as well. He he, he didn't really. He was played on the left. He was playing, on, but he had a very good understanding with Manuel Lanzini and Dimitri Payet. I remember very well in that season. But yeah, 29 appearances for the club, uh, seven goals and three assists. When you think about it, that's not really a bad uh, goal return, really. One in three, uh, close to. Um, so yeah, um, Mauro Zarate, obviously. Um, uh, I'm going to give him. I'm going to give him a seven because he did try his hardest, and I think um, he, uh, yeah, he was just a good, good, just okay to be honest. He put he, he put his effort in, scored some crucial goals. Like I said, the Chelsea one, uh, which um, springs to mind. I can't remember what other one he scored um, off the top of my head, but now I'm going to give uh, Zarati a seven. I think for me. Uh, Zarate gets a six. Greedy player, he scored second. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Kent gets a six. Yeah, I forgot about Arsenal away when we won. That was the one, Kent. Thank you very much for reminding me. So, moving on to our next striker. We've only got, I think we've got two more because uh, I'm doing them in blocks of eight, which is Enna Valencia. Uh, we signed Enna Valencia after the World uh, Was it the World Cup? Yeah, World Cup, um, obviously for Ecuador, he scored them crucial goals. We signed him for £12 million in July 2014. He left the club in July 2017. Obviously, he had some loan spells within then. I remember he went to Valencia. He's still playing now. I think he's playing for Besiktas or Galatasaray, I think, in Turkey. But 68 appearances for the club, 10 goals and 7 assists. Obviously, I remember he's weldy. Um, a way to hold no backlift straight in the top corner, hitting the crossbar, I think, um, going in. He got two goals uh, in the two draw in the last year at Upton Park. Um, um, I, remember, I remember that one very well. Um, uh, at Man City. Uh, at, against Man City, sorry, at Upton Park. Uh, he had a great a great relationship with the next man who I'm going to bring up um, uh, shortly. Um, he was okay. I think I think it was just a, a, a Kent would probably say that in his comment. Probably the hype over the World Cup, but 60 when you think of it, nearly 70 appearances and 10 goals, one goal in seven for a winger slash striker. Probably when you compare to the likes of Jared Bowen now, it's probably not setting the world alight. Um, but yeah, I sort of agree with being Kent are agreeing a lot on today. Yeah, gets a seven, bit lightweight, uh, linked up well with Sacco. Um, so yeah, seven for Anna Valencia. Anyone else? Anyone else in the chat? Um, you're more than welcome to give uh, your rating. So moving on to slide number eight, which is Diafra Sacco. Joined the club in August 2014 for 4.25 million. He left the club in January 2018, making 71 appearances, 24 goals, and four assists. Um, 
let's have a look here. Sorry, sorry, Grant, I didn't see your comment, mate. Um, 12 million was a lot of money. Yeah, it was, and it gives him a seven. But yeah, Diafra Sacco, what a player this was for the club. Uh, uh, in the end, obviously, it was a bit of a bad attitude, which um, eventually made him leave the club. But the first couple of seasons, when he got that, re I think, was it seven games in a row he scored for us in the Premier League? I remember, was it Liverpool? Um, Man United, Man City, uh, was it West Brom, I think, or Fulham, one of the two. But yeah, uh, fantastic pace in and behind. Uh, obviously, they're scoring, a, uh, scoring away at, at White Hart Lane. Um, I remember he scored a crucial goal in the FA Cup away to Bristol City. Uh, yeah, just a good servant for the club, obviously. Moving on, when we moved to the London Stadium, I remember him getting a crucial goal at Swansea. With Masawaku playing the ball in and scoring late on. But yeah, a good, good servant for the club. Uh, I'm going to give him an 8 because he, uh, he, he really did put the effort in, and especially when times were tough, especially uh, he was the main reason as well why we were fourth in the league at Christmas under that season with um, Sam Allardyce. So, yeah, I am going to give Diafra Sacco a 8 out of 10 for that one. Um, I would just wait for some more comments. And also goals, if you remember any other... Crew yeah, like I said, the goal at, men that, uh, at home to Men City, that great header where uh, goal line technology come into play. And nearly a great save from Joe Hart, who obviously then uh, signed for us a couple of years. But... No, for me, I'm going to give, yeah, like I said, an 8 out of 10 for me for Diafra Sacco. Uh, Grant says Sacco was good as well. Uh, an 8 out of 10. Yeah, these, these, like I said, this is just about bringing back memories for us. This is the third one, so this is getting close to like 23rd, 24th striker that... Um, um, that were bought under the David Gold and Sullivan era, and I think uh, we'll all agree there's not many who uh, who get there. Uh, uh. Harley, uh, thank, thanks, uh, thanks for your great first year, uh, but Saka was uh, a right ass. But yeah, I agree, I agree, uh, Harley. Uh, quality player Sacco scored goals, ran all day, would be a perfect and early 20 Sacco now to play in his current team. Moyes would love him, 8, eight out of 10, could score every type of goal. Yeah, especially like you said, Ken, in the air and getting him behind, he was a real success for us. Uh, the last striker uh, for, for this, uh, like I said, I normally do in block something, is Nene. He joined the club uh for a free transfer in February 2015, left the club in July, just eight appearances. Uh, for me, I don't even really remember him, to be perfectly honest. Um, another sort of free transfer where we should have been going out and buying him um, some decent players. Um, but yeah, I think eight appearances, no goals. I'm probably going to give him a three because he actually played more than the likes of Petrich and... Um, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Burrett. I uh, forgot his name now. Sorry. <laughs> That's bad for me. But yeah, it just proves what what impact they had. So yeah, uh, but, uh, uh, Nene gets a three for me. for One for putting the shirt on. And two. Uh, two for two points probably for playing eight games for us. But as you said, no impact. No impact. Uh, would have been a better name. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> That's a good one, Grant. That is a good one. And yeah, Kent says it as well. Sullivan special, mainly sub appearances. Yeah, a three. Uh, thanks for everyone for tuning in. Like I said, I'm just trying to keep these episodes short and sweet. Um, just different specials. I'll probably be back during the... Because we've actually got a week off, haven't we, between um, Leeds and... Well, six days between Leeds and Man United. So I'll probably do one during the week. I'm going to try and get a guest on to come on um, as well to give your input. Once again, thanks for everyone in the chat for contributing. And if you are new around here, just remember to like and, and subscribe. I've got some other good uh, uh, content coming up. And look out, I'm going to reschedule it for tomorrow morning as we get ready to go to the game. Probably about between half eight and nine o'clock. I've still not made my mind up yet. I will um, I'll give a little preview for the game tomorrow. Um, 
so yeah thanks for everyone for watching uh we've got some more exciting strikers coming up which i bet you cannot wait to come back for and the question is will zaza be appearing on the next one you'll have to wait out and find out but yeah like i said we've got an interesting day of football today i'm really looking forward to the games ahead including man city chelsea uh thanks for everyone to tune in and take care and come on your minds